Good morning, Lanterns. I'm Andrew. And I'm Cody. We are here with some last minute announcements to close out with the school year. Even during finals, Lanterns, you still need to sign in and use the Frontal Portal Health Check. You two teachers, hopefully that will be the, that will be a thing of the past after this year. There are QR code signs posted by every classroom door on campus. Use your cell phone to complete the survey before entering the classroom. This year has been a wild one, so wouldn't it be nice to have memories captured in a yearbook? Yearbooks are still on sale. Grab yours today. Let's cut to a video or two about yearbooks and how to order them. Hi Lancers, it's Amber. I'm here with you on a beautiful day to remind you to buy your yearbooks. They're still $75 and they will be available for purchase until the 29th of May. For you seniors who haven't bought your yearbooks yet, they will be available for purchase on the day of graduation. Please buy your yearbooks now. You can still upload photos to our Justin's Photo Library at the link on our school homepage. Any photos that you upload to our photo wall will be included in the yearbook, so please upload as many as you can. Buy your yearbooks either at the student store or on the Justin's website. They're still $75. So please run, get your yearbooks now so you can see what we have curated to commemorate our interesting and difficult year. That's all for now, Lancers. I will be graduating, but I hope you continue at Cordova High next year. Hey Lancers, on this last week of school, starting on Monday, we have zero period final at 8.30 and first period final at 10.40. On Tuesday, second period final is at 8.30 and fifth period final is at 10.40. On Wednesday, third period final is at 8.30 and sixth period final is at 10.40. On Thursday, our last day of school is fourth period final at 8.30 and seventh period final at 10.40. On Friday, the graduation rehearsal is at 9 a.m. The drive through graduation is from 12.30 to 3.30 p.m. The in-person graduation starts at 6 p.m. All seniors who are participating in the in-person graduation need to line up behind the tennis courts at 5 p.m. Good luck on your finals, Lancers. Don't forget to study and have a great summer. The library would love to get back all their library books or textbooks that you would no longer usually, especially overdue books. Seniors, get your library accounts cleared ASAP. We are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Any questions, see Mrs. Turkey or Mrs. Sims in the library. In fact, if you have any of the school stuff, give it back. The JROTC stuff, checked out equipment, books, all that. Turn it back in. Why are you hanging on to it anyway? School is over. Give them back their stuff. Fines aren't cool, Lancers. And that's what you get if you don't turn it back in. If you do not catch the senior send-up rally that aired on YouTube last Friday, then it is not too late to go check it out. Lots of funds for the seniors, great performances, and skits. Up next is No Skit. It is the one and only Principal Hyden. He has a farewell message and some information about final weeks and more. Hello Lancers, Principal Hyden here. We're in our final week, finals week. So today is Monday. If you're watching this, you should have your first period final. If you're here as a distance learner student, then you're logging in like you typically would. But if you're on campus, you need to make sure you're in your first period class for your final, which begins at 1040. 
With that said, please be aware of the final schedule this week. Two different finals each day as we rotate through the schedule with your finals being done on Thursday. Friday is graduation, so a quick shout out to our seniors, our class of 21. Congratulations again. We've got this far, it's been a challenge, but you've made it. Please make sure you let us know what your preference is, either the drive-through or the traditional ceremony in the stadium. Gates will open at 5 p.m. More information to come on that, as in a reminder, two tickets per student. We will hand those out at rehearsal, which starts at 9 a.m. Last thing I want to say to the whole student body, we couldn't be more grateful to have you back on campus, here with us. We only wish we could have come back on campus sooner. The plan for the fall is that we will start all students, not in a distance learning format whatsoever, assuming that the guidelines don't change and will be full schedule all day for five days a week. So again, we look forward to that. We hope that you have an amazing summer. And once again, this is Principal Hyden here saying thank you for an amazing year. Seniors, if you have not picked up your cap and gown, just wow. Do so in the counseling office now. If you ordered your cap and gown after May 13th, it will not be ready for pickup until Thursday after school. Better late than never. Thank you to all those that watched the awards night that premiered last Thursday. The video is still available on YouTube for viewing. IB students, it is time to request for your CHS to send your IB results to one college of your choosing. You have until the end of May to make this request, May 28th to be exact. Please go to the IV section of the CHS website and make your request in the Google survey. If you need to reach out to Mrs. Janos, here's a video on how to do so. This is an instructional video on how to contact Zandi Janos, the IV coordinator. The first thing you're going to do is go to the IV screen for the Cordova High School webpage. You're going to click the career program and scroll all the way down until you see the contact information for Ms. Janos. Click on her email, it should forward you to gmail.com. Once you write your email, you may have to wait a little bit. She will get back to you on your IB concern or any question you have. Some parting sports news for the end of the year going forward into summer. Are you interested in being part of the Big Red Football Program? There will be an informational meeting for Lancer Football May 27th, Thursday at 5 p.m. in the amphitheater. Summer workouts begin on June 1st. Mm -hmm. All players must be registered for the 2021-2022 season on athletic clearance and have an up-to-date physical before they can participate in summer workouts. The link can be found on the athletics page on the school website along with the summer practice schedule. And that's it for today and well, the whole year Lancers. Have a great summer and see you next year Lancers.